Hi, my name is Kirk Hamilton and this is the Staying Healthy Today Show. I'm a practicing physician assistant of 30 years in nutrition, prevention, and integrative medicine, an author, and a health educator. Today's show topic is congestive heart failure and coenzyme Q10. And the reason I'm bringing this up is I had did a previous YouTube where I talked about, you know, six, seven, eight things you can do for heart failure, but sometimes people are so overwhelmed, they don't feel very good at all that they just only take one thing. And if I had to pick out one thing for heart failure, it would be coenzyme Q10. But here's the important little pearls on how to take it correctly and get the maximum benefit because everybody's making CoQ10. Number one, CoQ10 is a natural occurring compound in the body made by components uh, in the body that are found in almost every cell in the body, especially in an area called the mitochondria. Think of that as the combustion chamber where the, the gasoline comes in and the spark plug goes off and the combustion occurs and the piston turns and you, your car moves. So there's two things that happen. Energy is produced, that is the ubiquinone form of CoQ10, or the oxidized form. And then when you have combustion, there's all kinds of oxidized particles created, and that's where the ubiquinol form comes in. It's the reduced form. It acts as an antioxidant. So there's two forms. The ubiquinol form is the most highly absorbable form of CoQ10. So that's probably the one I would start out with, especially if you're not measuring blood levels. So here's how you want to take CoQ10. If you have heart failure, especially if you're on a statin drug, because statin drugs block the production of CoQ10. That's why some people believe that they get muscle weakness, fatigue, sometimes mental lack of acuity, because we're reducing the energy producing, a significant energy producing component in our cells. So you take 200 milligrams with food, a fatty meal if you can, three times a day because it's absorbed much better. So don't do it once a day away from food. Split doses, 200 milligrams three times a day with food. Get your blood level checked. Your doctor can do this. Major labs test for this. Medicare pays for it. So what you want to do is you get it checked afterwards and you see if your blood level is 3.5 little ug microgram slash ml milliliter or above. I shoot for four in my patients. That level correlates with reasonable function in the heart muscle. Now CoQ10 then works by helping the heart muscle squeeze harder because there's lots of energy used in the squeezing of the heart but also in resting state of the heart there's a tension that's created and you need energy for that. So CoQ10 is very, very, very important. And again, most cardiac patients are on statin drugs, so they're reducing the production of it. So you really want to take this one nutrient if you're a cardiovascular patient, especially when you have heart failure. Um, so take CoQ10 if you have heart disease, uh, congestive heart failure, get it checked the blood level after you take it and make sure it's above 3.5 little UG slash ML and be very cautious if you're on a statin drug. I have a link to several things in the description below this YouTube. I have the summary of what I just said. I have links to my health letter. love you to get that. I also have links to an interview I did with um, Dr. Peter Langshan, MD. His father is one of the original researchers of CoQ10. He's a cardiologist that specifically focuses on using congestive heart failure. And that's a link to one of my interviews I've done with him and it's very, very, very informative. So go in the description below uh, this YouTube and you will find the link to that. You'll also find a link to signing up for my health letter where you get free health tips and reminders of these YouTubes that I do. Okay, so my name is Kirk Hamilton. You have a fabulous day and I'll talk to you soon.